Uh, dear Ambassador, first of all, thank you for joining us. Um, as we know, Estonia is a huge partner of Georgia in many fields, in including the cybersecurity issue. Can you please remember the period when Eston Estonia became involved in helping Georgia? Um, thank you. And uh, it's very nice to hear that we, as a small country, we are a huge partner. And I think there is some truth in it. Uh, Estonia got very involved, of course, when Georgia uh, decided to uh, very forcefully to, join, uh, to start its Euro-Atlantic uh, uh, integration and the democratization processes. And uh, I think our, most of our projects and, and uh, cooperation started uh, after the Rose Revolution, after 2004. There was a huge attack, cyber attack on Georgia, right? And the role of Estonia was very helpful. You helped us to solve a lot of problems. Can you remember this period? Yes, uh, of course, 2008 was a very crucial moment, but for Estonia, 2007 already was when Estonia experienced uh, very clear cyber attacks, uh, organized cyber attacks. So, and Georgia experienced 2008, and that's how I think already during the war the cooperation started, and that was very uh, natural cooperation in this sense. And since then, I think this. Uh, cooperation between our countries, institutions on cyber defense have been more and more extensive. You mentioned cyber defense. Why cyber security is very important for that? Uh, for us, for Estonians, of course, uh, uh, our, go our government system, our, all our systems, banking system, everything is uh, in cybersphere. So we, we, we uh, we depend a lot on on internet, on the uh, databases, on connections, our everyday life. So we call E Estonia, and to have this kind of life and to have our society functioning, we need to, of course, uh, protect it. And uh, increasingly, I think it's awareness all over the world, which we're very uh, happy to see, including in Georgia, that actually these uh, risks which uh, appear from the cyberspace uh, are very serious, and, and this can really uh, harm and, uh, and even uh, ruin the country if it's... Uh, 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 it, if, if the country measures, counter measures, measures have not taken. So, and, uh, and uh, we as Estonia, and together with the NATO nowadays, and also in our bilateral cooperation with Georgia, we have worked a lot on to, to uh, build these cap uh, capabilities now. Uh, there are a number of institutions in Georgia which deal with cybersecurity problems. One of them is the Cybersecurity Bureau. So you know a lot of things about that. Um, how would you estimate the progress they have done? They were launched almost two years ago, yeah, as far as I remember. I have been here four years, yeah. almost, and uh, I have seen the development in, in, in the defense ministry system of, of cyber issues, but broader sense in, in Georgia as well. And we have been working with many partners, but establishing uh, the Cyber uh, Security Bureau uh, under the Ministry of Defense, I think that was a quite uh, instrumental change in terms of uh, uh, building ca capabilities inside ministry, but also in terms of raising awareness about the risks and uh, regarding the cyber, cyber issues. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, and since the creation of the Bureau, it has been our main partner in terms of cybersecurity cooperation in Georgia, and a very, I think, uh, very good partner. Do you have any information um, about the projects that the Cyber Security Bureau wants to launch? That this is connected with the wounded soldiers and the cyber reserves. What do you think about these projects? Yeah, these are very good examples of very important projects, and especially for the future. As you, I think the Bureau and the Ministry have been very, very good of including uh, wounded soldiers to these, uh, uh, to these programs, and, and also I know including more young people, uh, including more people from private sector, because uh, of course the knowledge about cyber is not only lying inside the Ministry, but it's, it's broader, and if we want to defend the cyberspace, uh, or our society against the cyber attacks, we need to involve as many partners and to 
Uh, and in Estonia we have a very good exper experience with the Voluntary uh, Cyber Defence League, which is a uh, very popular and very active uh, uh, voluntary system. Um, almost two months ago, uh, the Minister of Defence of Estonia, Hannes Hansa, visited Georgia and Cyber Security Bureau. Uh, can you summarise this visit and what was the impressions? Of course, uh, our, always our Ministry of Defence uh, often visit Georgia and the visits are always very, very warm but also very practical and very uh, fruitful in this term. And uh, of course now as cyber uh, security and cyber defence is uh, uh, one of the or maybe the most uh, extensive cooperation area between our countries, it was very much discussed during the visit what more can be done and what have been achieved and and minister was very happy to see this uh, this cooperation and gave his very strong support for the future cooperation we spoke about the progress which the bureau and overall which georgia had done regarding the cyber security but in any case there are also the problems what do you think what is the main challenge for georgia in this issue still of course uh, uh, cyber security is a field which is developing very fast and I think for any country the challenge is to keep up because always those who want to challenge our systems they in a way step ahead so we always have to the challenge is to keep up it's about capabilities it's about awareness raising inside the government system but broader in, in the society and I think in this regard the Bureau has done a very good job as well um, training our officials uh, also, uh, I think, cooperation with international partners and, and, uh, and exchanging information. And, and um, I think these are the same challenges for any country. Also, I want to highlight, and I think there has been a lot of improvement in this regard in Georgia, is cooperation between different state institutions and private sector. Because I think in this field we can succeed only if uh, if different uh, institutions work together and they have a strategic vision because we cannot create these capabilities overnight. It has to be step by step approach and uh, but I think the the We're vision on the right track. yes, you are on the right track. The vision is there and I think uh, with in cooperation with uh, Estonia, US and other NATO partners I think it's um, Georgia has a number of obligations under the substantial NATO Georgia package, right? And among uh, the 13 directions, cyber security is one of the main direction, yeah? And Estonia is directly involved in that. So what can you say about it? Uh, is this package really helpful for Georgia? And yeah, what are the changes from your point of view? Since it was established, of course. Yes, you're right. Uh, inside NATO as well, the, the threats and the security threats from the cyber, I think, are more and more um, understood by, by allies and more cooperation has been increased in every aspect of the cyber security. And of course, in, uh, as a partner country and uh, as a future member of the NATO, I think with Georgia it's, uh, it's very important that cyber uh, security is part of this package which is meant to be to, to, to support your defense capabilities and also your integration with NATO. So, And well, I'm very happy that Estonia is a lead country in this, uh, in this sphere and, and together with US and UK we, we, we try to support as much as we can. And I can say that uh, commitment from Georgian government side, from the ministry and especially from the bureau side is very strong and I think uh, this part of the package is developing uh, very fast. And I will ask you about um, Georgian-Estonian uh, trade relations. Once the PM of uh, Estonia, Prime Minister of Estonia, said that Georgia is a very interesting place to make the investitions. Um, how do you think? Is it? Do you agree with that? And um, in your opinion, which field is most can be most interesting for the businessman, for example, to make the investitions? Uh, yes, I think Georgia is an interesting place to invest and I, I, what I've seen now is more and more interest from Estonian business sector as well. Uh, most Estonian investors are looking for uh, hydro, real estate, agriculture, so uh, and I think these are very potential areas. And, uh, uh, yeah. 
Uh, sorry for interrupt, interrupting. No, no, I'm saying that uh, Georgia is, uh, why Georgia is interested, it's about location, it's about your uh, transformation of your society and your economy. And I think these are the processes which always uh, I invite investors to look for new opportunities. Yeah, you also men mentioned agriculture. Yeah, this is a very important issue for us as well. Um, and you are also our partner in this field. How do you think, what has changed during the last several years and what is the role of Estonia? In which way are you helping us? Yes, uh, agriculture is one of the areas where we uh, work uh, in the framework of our development cooperation with Georgia. Uh, and in agriculture, what we share is exactly our experience and our farmers' very practical experience, how to, uh, how to um, uh, raise the quality of your uh, products uh, to the level of the EU market. So as you are now um, uh, free, uh, since July 1st association agreement and DCFTA has been fully uh, in place now, you have opportunity to, to export to the EU market without any uh, restrictions, So, but you need capacity and your agricultural sector needs this experience, how to build this capacity and quality of your products and, and that's what we have tried to exchange uh, uh, this experience from Estonian farmers. Is it honey makers for example, it's, uh, it's cattle breeding, it's uh, dairy produ products, so it's in different fields and, and cooperation is re very fruitful and I'm very happy to see that very concrete uh, uh, farms and, uh, and farmer cooperatives are, are implementing lots of these ideas what they saw in Estonia and, uh, and it's very inspira inspirational to see this. I would like to speak about the educational system as well. There are a lot of Georgian students who would like to go to Estonia, take different degrees. Well, how do you think, why is it so challenging for them and fascinating to go to Estonia and take these degrees? One reason is maybe that it, Estonian universities have long experience with yeah. Georgians because of Tartu University used to be already uh, 100 years ago uh, a place for Georgians to study as well. Uh, and uh, But nowadays, yeah, I'm very happy to see that there are more than almost two, 300 students now studying in different uh, programs in yeah. Estonia. Uh, Probably the programs are interested or, or maybe Estonians are very warm hosts in this sense, but I'm very happy to see it. In the educational sector we work with your uh, government and yeah. with your schools a lot on, on vocational training as well already for, for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, because I think vocational training is extremely important to get uh, uh, good labour force for the economy. And yeah, as far as I know, your uh, term um, of office will be expired soon. Um, what are your, yeah, uh, when exactly? Uh, I'm planning to leave in a few weeks time, so. Uh -huh. Do you have any idea who will be the next ambassador? <laughs> yes, I, I do. There will be very good ambassador following, following. But it has been absolutely fascinating four years for me. Very interesting time for Georgia. I'm very happy to see that Georgia continues to be, and I don't have any doubt that it should not be in the future, to be very committed to Euro-Atlantic uh, uh, integration. And uh, I think that has been the base of our very fruitful cooperation as well, because we have, uh, uh, we have gone this road and we know what challenges you face, but uh, and I'm very happy to see not to give up, because it, it, there are challenges on the way, but, mm -hmm. but I think uh, it should not distract you, and, and uh, I'm very confident okay. that and you will continue. Yeah, and what are your plans? I will go back with my family to Estonia. It's time to be now, uh, yes. Thank you very much, thank you.